Now, Heartland Football Friday, sponsored by EBOMD. And hi again, everyone, and welcome to Heartland Football Friday. We're talking regular season. I'm Todd Richards, and I am glad to be with you tonight. It has been a wild night, as you might guess, as the regular season arrives for teams in Southeast Missouri and Southern Illinois. And we kick things off at the jungle, the Cape Central Tigers hosting the New Madrid County Central Eagles. And we get out for the highlights, uh, a special assist award, if you will, to our uh, producer, Mike Johnson, on the highlights. Meanwhile, Cape Central taking the field, and, and boy, they would come out with some fire right here. Keyshawn Boyd would go in and score right there. Seven to nothing, the Tigers over New Madrid County Central. Boy, this Cape Central team said, let's start fast. Let's start fast, they did. And then on the defensive side, Nolan Mungle, the quarterback for the Eagles, tries to get some yards, doing everything they could, but that swarming Tigers defense makes the play. And then watch the little big man, Zaire Thomas, about five, six of nothing but muscle, speed, and football ability. He cut the ribbon earlier on the new indoor facility, goes all the way for the Cape Central touchdown. Cape led 14 to nothing. The celebration was just getting started. 42 to nothing, the final score. The Tigers beat New Madrid County Central. Well, a battle of state ranked teams. Jackson heading north to a matchup with back to back state champion Cardinal Ritter. Cardinal Ritter had won 28 straight games heading into this one. We're out to St. Louis for the highlights. And I'll tell you what, Jackson trying to move that football. There they are in the white uh, uniforms. Appreciate the help for the video all the way from St. Louis from the Jackson Athletic Department. They get some positive yardage there. And then here they go again. Jackson trying to pick up uh, more yardage, but this game, hey, too much Cardinal Ritter. The final score, 44 to seven. The Cardinal Ritter Ball Club wins again on that long win streak. Hopper Bluff at home against Valley View. Jay Edmondson, he powers his way. That quarterback is a one-man machine on this drive. He, he goes there, then Edmondson, number seven, will call his own number again. Edmondson gets the snap. He goes back, he goes through, and he gets himself again more positive yardage. And then Edmondson says, a heck of that yardage. I'm going for the end zone. He goes around the corner, scores, but in the end, it was Valley View out of Arkansas winning that game 42-14. That, that is your final score. All right, time to head out to Southern Illinois for the Hall of Fame weekend at Carbondale. It's also our Heartland Football Friday game of the night, Murfreesboro at Carbondale. Luke Randall joins us now live with the highlights, Luke. The game of the night, well, Todd, sponsored by carsforlife.com. Todd, I am grateful to be with you. We just witnessed an absolute classic in Southern Illinois. And you know what? It was a great venue, the Hall of Fame. We got to see several athletes, coaches, a fan, and a team inducted. Let's roll the package. Here was that special moment for the 2024 Athletics Hall of Fame class. But let's rewind to the first half and Ty Jerkel of the first play for Murfreesboro on offense. And he goes all the way. Touchdown. You know he's got up an impact on offense? How about defense? Right here. Interception. Murfreesboro would capitalize and go up 11-0. But here comes Carbondale. Davin Woolley would air it out. Touchdown right there to Braylon Berry. And the Terriers are within three. But you know what? Gibson Faker says, let's, let's not do that. Murfreesboro gets out in front again. And they're not done. Check out that student section. This is an away student section. All bark, no bite. That is bold to say. But in the first half, it would prove true. Here's Kellum with his second touchdown, 25 to 8 at halftime. And Murfreesboro feeling comfortable. But Carbondale, early in the third, they'd get a touchdown. Then they would come back and get a second touchdown. And you know what? They get a third. They take the lead in this one late, 29 to 25. Student section is going crazy. And Murfreesboro, they have to get something about three minutes to go in the game. And you know what? They do. They take the lead 33 to 29. And that would be it for three minutes to go. But would it end that way? Let's find out. 
Well, with about a minute to end, it would go down to the wire and Carbondale would score a rushing touchdown. Then the final play of the game, Murfreesboro with a chance for the Hail Mary. They get within about three or four yards, but it's no good. Carbondale, 36, Murfreesboro 33, a major, major upset in Illinois, and the Terriers might be the class of Southern Illinois. Todd, what a game, but I know you've got more. I'll send it back your way. Hey, Luke, great hustle out there tonight, outstanding. All right, when we return, it's all about new head coaches on teams in Southeast Missouri and Southern Illinois. We'll, we'll sort it all out for you when Heartland Football Friday returns. <laughs> 